Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and this video is just a short one about the potential hardiness of Suriname cherries. That's Eugenia uniflora, I believe. This is one that I've had for several years, grown considerably since I got it originally. Has fruited for me once. The fruits weren't very nice, uh, not particularly nice, they're quite a strong aftertaste to them which i can when i'm talking about the plants i can never remember what the uh, resinous that's it the fruits have got quite a resinous flavor to them it's probably originally a seed grown plant rather than a name variety um i think it might have come from a dutch grower before brexit uh, but what i was discussing today was the they're they're actually pretty hardy coal resistant plants now i've had this one in my summer house with the citrus all uh, winter simply because i didn't have room inside and they tend to defoliate very badly when in the in the house they don't like the dry atmosphere and also lack of room in doors but i found that previously i've had young seedlings in my summer house uh, even before i got the heater because I only got the heater for the, to use properly for the first time this year. And basically the heater I've got in here to protect the plants is just a frost heater. It just comes on when the temperature gets down to freezing. Now this winter we've had temperatures outside, I think I got down to minus five or minus six on one night at least. And I would imagine it, if the heater did its job, it probably didn't get below minus one. Helicopters are flying over the top, I'll just wait a minute. Yeah, probably didn't get below minus one in here if the heater did its job. I, I have got a maximum minimum thermometer somewhere, but uh, oh yeah, it's on the wall at the back, but I can't actually get to it at the moment to read it and see what the temperatures went down to. But this plant seems to be relatively undamaged, and in fact, to show you how tough they are, I've actually got some heavily over, heavily root bound ones that I grew from seed, which are sitting there in the, uh, right by the front window, which has had ice on it at times. So although the plant's not growing yet, it seems to take no damage at all. Now, I'd, I'd be very tempted, unfortunately I haven't got any in-ground space, but I'd be very tempted if I had a larger garden uh, and a shelter corner to try one of these Suriname cherries outside and maybe um, and maybe with a little bit of shelter there's a possibility that it survive behind it I've got another one um, I think I'm not even sure if I might have crowned that one from seed or if I bought it from someone like Burncoos. Again, I've got a couple of grounds from seed that are meant to be the seeds from Dark Star, but they might not come true to form. But this one here produces red, red to dark red fruits. But as I said, they've got a resinous taste to them. It hasn't fruited for a couple of years because it went, it was badly affected by leaf loss in uh, winter. But as I said, I thought it might prefer to be out in the um, summer house this winter and certainly it survived down to freezing without any damage at all i mean the red the dark red and blotchy leaves are probably partly caused by uh well they'll be caused by cold possibly drought because i haven't watered it since november i've just given it its first water today um might also be caused by being a bit pot bound but i'll give it a light trim when i bring it outside at the end of april and I'm hopefully it'll grow away better this summer with some feeding and we might get some flowers on it and possibly some fruit sets the one advantage of these if they do flower and set fruit is it only takes about four to six weeks from flower to edible sized fruits so you don't need a long growing season for them to get fruits but um uh, they don't probably a little bit sensitive for flowering outside to so the ones i had before it fruited when i had it flowering indoors but we'll see what happens um but it's certainly worth experimenting I mean, if you had a mild central urban garden where you very rarely saw frost i reckon there's a good chance of one of these surviving in grounds and getting to a, a reasonable size especially if you threw frost fleeces over it in cold spells so that's my Suriname cherry testing out its cold hardiness in um, in my summer house it's done as well as all the citrus 
and I've got a couple of white sapotes out here so they've all seemed to have been quite tolerant of the uh, of the weather we've had this winter and uh, the temperatures that has been maintained I've put it in front of the window of course so it gets full light anyway thanks for watching the video much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up share it if you think that might be interesting to anybody subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now